So welcome back everyone to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Today I just want to show you a new uh, Z-Wave plug-in modules that I've gotten. I've got a pair of these already, uh, but I needed a couple more. So I just wanted to, uh, to give you a quick unboxing of what's included and some of the features that these uh, plugs give over the normal Z-Wave uh, receptacle outlets and things that I've got. Because uh, these have a few more interesting little tidbits of information they give you based on what's plugged into them. So anyway, let me unbox it here and I'll show you what all is included. Okay, so you'll have to forgive the uh, 3D printer running in the background. Uh, it's, uh, it's printing a pretty big print, so it's making a lot of noise. But anyway, here in the box, um, I ordered the two-pack. Um, you can get these um, in a single pack. Um, uh, these were $49 on Amazon. I'll provide a link below. Um, and just a reminder, they are affiliate links. And if you do click on them, even though you don't buy this product, but if you buy anything after clicking the link, um, they do give me a little bit of percentage of anything you buy. So if you want to help out my channel and it doesn't cost you anything, click the link and go shopping. So, But uh, if you do need one, like I said, check below and I'll provide the link. Um, but in this box, uh, the first one that I ordered, I have, have one of these already installed. Um, it, uh, I had a single one and it's done great. I've had, I had it over a year, no issues. Um, I had my network crash, so I had to reconfigure all my Z-Wave modules and I had a lot that would not reconnect, but, uh, this one had no issues. Um, it's a really simple setup. Um, plug it in and once you plug it in hit the include button three times real fast and it will um, do the include uh, same thing for the exclude if you plug it in hit it three times it will exclude it from your network uh, so so what you have to do of course I'm using home here here so I'll go into the inclusion mode and uh, once I'm in the inclusion mode I'll hit this three times and I'll add it. I'm not going to show you on screen because I've done many adding Z-Wave module networks uh, or to the network. So it, it's not too complicated. Um, the thing I want to say is this one, it was supposed to be a blue and a red, uh, green. Uh, but for some reason, I got two greens. Don't know if it really matters um, because, I mean, you just plug them in a wall. Mine are hidden behind a chair, so I don't see them anyhow. Um, but I name them within home seer, so it really doesn't matter about the color But it's kind of funny that I was supposed to have gotten two colors um, But the thing about this uh, That's different from other z-wave modules is it gives you a little more information And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over here And I'm gonna show you one that I've already got set up the existing one and show you some of the information that it has um, in home seer once you add these and configure them to the network all right, now that we're here in Home Seer, um, this is the dim light that I had added, uh, you know, a while back. And I kind of want to show here what the, some of the other values are. So here is just the normal on-off command that you can, uh, you know, program anything, in events or anything with. But if you notice, I also have as kilowatt hours, watts, volts, amps. And this is pretty neat because you can do an accumulation over time. Uh, to see how much the device has run since a set time. Uh, you can reset those. It'll tell you how many watts it's drawing. And right now, as you can see, it's on, you know, pulling about 14 watts. And the voltage on the line, which uh, to me, 122 volts, I mean, I really don't care. It should be that. And how many amps it's pulling. So these little devices are nice because you can put them on uh, something you want to monitor your, your power consumption on. Uh, this one I'm going to put on a 3D printer because I'm curious to see uh, how much power it uses over a 24-hour period. Because uh, like I mentioned before, I have the 3D printer running in the background. This print's running for 24 hours. And trying to get a cost breakdown uh, because I'm trying to sell these parts, uh, some that I've been making with the printer, and trying to budget in the cost of the electricity in those prints. So I'm just trying to get a rough idea of how much it burns per hour, you know, as far as, as power consumption. So that way I can kind of get a good estimation on it. Um, but anyway, um, like I said, it's a really quick video here. Just wanted to show you a breakdown of these uh, 
these uh, Z-Wave modules and some of the little perks that it has with it. Because, like I said, you can track your kilowatt hours. And you can do various things based on these numbers. So, uh, you know, if it's running too high, you can cut it off. Uh, so you can do some, you know, set you up some events, you know, based on these values. And if it goes over a certain value, you can have it cut off. That way you can kind of manage how much something's consuming in the day. But anyway, um, I hope you like this. I will provide the link below, uh, the Amazon affiliate links. Like I said, any little thing can help out the channel. I appreciate it because I like to bring these little uh, tricks and tips and new products that I'm getting just to show, you know, what they're like and how I use them in my home sear system. So uh, if you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done that. And I look forward to having you come back and check out some future videos. Have a great day. Thanks.